Hello, my name is Arki and we are going to solve problem 26 from chapter 4 of Hate's book. Determine the voltage Vx in the circuit of figure 4.54 and the power supplied by the 1 ohm source. Okay. Maybe I will use node analysis and name this node here as node A. This node here as node B. And this node here is node C. But immediately we can see that I cannot calculate the current that passed through this voltage source. So what can we do is assume that VA and VC is one big node, right? So you have VA and VC is just one big node here. So I highlighted yellow here. And let's assume the direction of the current from here. For this branch, I just follow this one ampere current source, and this is going to the right, this is going down, and this is going down. Let's name the node VA and VC as our super node. And we can do KCL at super node. Okay. KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is the same as the currents that goes out. Okay. And then the only currents that goes in from this node is this one. I think there is others. Ah, this one is also going in. So I will have 1 plus 8. Okay. 1 plus 8 as the current that going in. And the current that goes out will be this one here so I will have VA minus VB divided by 8 and then this node here so we'll have plus VC divided by 2 okay so to get rid of the denominator I can multiply both sides by 8 and 1 plus 8 will be 9. 9 multiplied by 8, that will be 72. And for this part, I will have VA minus VB. And this part, I will have for VC. Okay. I think we cannot do anything more from this point. So let's move that 72 to the right-hand side. And save this as equation number 1. Yeah, this is equation number one. Now, another thing that we can do is to KCL at node P here. So I will have KCL at node P. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. So the currents that goes in, I will have... VA minus VB divided by 8. And then, yeah, only that current set goes in. And the other two currents is going out. So I'll have that will equal to this current here will be VB over 5. And this current here will be 8. Okay. Now multiply both sides by 40. And we should have 5VA minus 5VB plus 8VB and then plus 330. Okay, the equal sign should be here, right? That will be equal. Now, let's move this 8VB to the left-hand side. So, I'll have 5VA minus 13VB is equal to 320. Okay, now let's save that as equation number 2. Okay, now we have two equations, but we have three variables, VA, VB, and C. So, we need one more equation, and we need to see at this voltage source. So, I need to have at 2 VX dependent voltage source. What do I have? I will have this VC here. 
the difference between VC and VA should be equal to, to VX, right? But VX is here. VX is here, but here is our ground. So VX and VB should be the same. So I will have VC minus VA is equal to 2VB. Okay, let's move all of this to the right hand side. So I will have VA plus 2VB minus VC that will equal to 0. Okay, now let's have it as equation number 3. Okay, we can rewrite this as 3 by 3 matrix multiplied by a vector, right? So I will have from this one, I will have 1 minus 1 and 4. And this one as 5 minus 13 and 0. And this one here is 1, 2 and minus 1. So all of that multiplied by VA, VB, and VC. VA, VB, and VC. And the result vector should be 72, and then 320, and then 0. Now let's just plug this into calculator. So I'll have VA, VB, and VC. Let's do that. Let's do calculator. Set up. Let's get equation solver and number 2 because we have 3 by 3. So we have 1 minus 1 and then 4 and then 72. And I will have 5 minus 13 and then 0 and then 320. Okay, and then 1, and then 2, and then minus 1. And all of that will equal to 0. Okay, I will have Vx here. I mean Va here as 31.76. Okay. 31.76. And the unit will be 4. And then for VB, I will have minus 12.4, minus 12.44, and for VC, I will have 6.96. And remember, the question is VX, but VX is equal to VB. So this is VX here. Vx. So the value of Vx is this one here. And now we are asked about the power supplied by the 1, amp, one ampere source. But the power there should be the voltage here multiplied by the current. But the voltage is equal to Va which is 31 0.76 and the current is 1 ampere so multiplied by 1 and so we will have the power is 31.76 and the unit will be 1. This is the power supplied by that 1 ampere current source. Okay, hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.